In today's video, we're going to be going over the installation of our Forcepoint DLP solution for version 8.4. This is one video in a series of videos I'm creating that explain how to install version 8.4 of the core Forcepoint solution suite, which consists of web, email, and DLP. As always, preparation is key when installing any of these, any Forcepoint solutions. If you check out uh, my video on the Forcepoint infrastructure installation, you'll see some key preparation tips that I've included at the very beginning of the video. Please check those out uh, because our installations are definitely very much dependent on how you prepare uh, the servers that they are being installed on. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I've already uh, installed the Forcepoint management infrastructure, which is the first step. And I've already installed actually uh, web security on uh, this Forcepoint manager server. Now I'm going to start the installation process for DLP. I'm going to do this by going to my program files view. And I'm, since I've already run the installer once, uh, I chose the option at the end of the installation to keep my installation files so I don't have to re-extract them every time I want to run the installer. Uh, because I've done that, what happens is a kind of shortcut icon shows up called Forcepoint Security Setup. And I'm going to go ahead and just right click on that and do Run as Administrator. And that's going to bring up the installer relatively quickly. There it is. You can see I've already installed the web security portion. Uh, I have not installed DLP yet, so we're going to go ahead and start that. Here we go. <clears throat> so some preliminary checks that DLP will go through. Um, the entire installation process will kind of walk you through step by step. Uh, you'll see some of the options and, and the uh, information that should be filled in in them as I'm going through the installation process. I'm just clicking Next. I'm using all the defaults that are given to me at first. Select the IP address of the server. So if your server is multi-homed or has several IPs assigned to it, you can choose which IP you want to use uh, as the uh, management IP for this for your force point infrastructure. So next, so uh, the system requires a local admin account. It can also be a domain admin. In earlier videos, when we were installing the force point infrastructure. I was explaining some preparation steps and one of those that you'll find in the guide is to basically create a service account that you use across the board for any and everything Forcepoint. So I've already created this and I'm going to go ahead and populate it in that box. And now it's asking me for the credentials for my SQL server. So I've also, again, that Forcepoint service account that I've created in my Active Directory environment, uh, I use that as my connection to my SQL server. So this account is registered on my SQL server as, a, as an account that has access to the various database uh, roles and mappings. Um, again, that, that's all part of the Forcepoint uh, infrastructure video I created early on. Check that out and you'll see some of the preliminary instructions on how to how to configure the SQL um, service account. So go ahead and enter the password for this again. On this screen, you configure where you would like incident archive backups and the DLP backups to be stored. This isn't uh, necessary to configure this right away, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it at this point and configure it later on when I do my initial configuration of the DLP user interface. So I'm still using all the defaults and I'm ready to install. And this is just letting me know it's going to install some um, software just to make the DLP installation uh, compatible with um, with the machine I'm installing it on. So I'll hit yes, allow it to install those, and it's off. So now we just hurry up and wait.
All right, looks like the installation is finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the finish button. You can see it was pretty seamless, very easy to do. Uh, the installer window has now updated showing uh, version 8.4 of DLP is installed. Uh, we can go ahead now and hit close. And it should ask me, do I wanna keep the installation files? And I want to always select yes, so if I ever have to run the installer again, I can simply go to my program files and uh, select the force point installer and it won't have to extract all over again. So I'll go ahead and hit yes, and that's it. I'll keep an eye out for the uh, next video that will teach how to actually configure the DLP solution once it's installed. Thanks again.